the GMAs is just around the corner. But we're going to talk about the music seminar first because that's taking center stage today. Joining me in studio to discuss this very interesting topic, I've got Sheila O. Oh. She's the host of Afro Zones and she'll be telling you exactly what she does. I've got Kenya King. She's mobile founder and also Theresa Ayode. She's CEO for Chatterhouse. And of course, they are the brand behind VGMA. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it's great to have you on set, all three beautiful, gorgeous looking ladies. Thank you, so, Dr. Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start off with music seminar. Yeah. I think for me, it's important that we talk about it because I think VGMA takes center stage. That's the main yeah. event. Yeah. But many people may not know that something precedes that. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about the pro today. Music seminar, what exactly does it entail? What are we looking at? Well, basically, um, the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards is a day. It's, it's a it's a it's a time to celebrate our music, our musicians, and to reward their hard work, you know, as throughout the year. Okay. But apart from the fun and mm. the glitz and the glamour, there's also the serious aspect of the entertainment industry, which right. is the business right. aspect of it. So that's why it's called showbiz. Okay. It's a show and there's a business, <laughs> you know. So we've got to be able to use the platform to be able to uh, to talk about the the business. Um, in the industry, okay. talk about how we can promote our music. It's all about promotion of music. Okay. How do we promote our music? How do we understand the new trends hmm. and um, where the industry is headed into the future? What's the future of the industry? Right. So the, the seminar theme is the future of music business, nice. not just in Ghana, but globally. Hmm. And how do we position ourselves as, the, as Ghanaian musicians in that space? Great. Yeah. And you've got big shots like Kanya King coming in. Let me ask you, Kanya, <laughs> what made you want to be part of this music <coughs> seminar? Well, when Teresa invited me mm. to be here, I, I didn't hesitate to mm. say, you know, yes, of course, okay. because for over two decades, MOBO has been motivating, mm. elevating and celebrating African music acts. Right. Even when people were saying to us that African music artists wouldn't sell records, mm -hmm. we said, look, you know, there's so much talent we have in our continent, in all the different African countries. So it was important for us to put them on the center stage. Mm. And so, yeah, I'm really proud to be here because it's like a homecoming for me. Nice. You know, Kanye is a Ghanaian name. My father's Ghanaian, mm. so I'm here where I should be. Great. And so I look forward to, you know, going to the Ghanaian Music Awards because it's mm. the first time I'll be there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for us, it's about flying the flag mm. for homegrown mm. talent. Great. But the theme is the future of music business. And yeah. for you, having been in that field, I'm interested in finding out what's your view of how the music business is growing, the trends? Well, a lot has happened mm. over the last two decades. Okay. I mean, now, you know, there's more of a level playing field. If you're an independent artist, your music can be distributed mm -hmm. and, you know, promoted nationwide very easily. Okay. You know, with the, you know, evolution of the internet, and the digital transformation of what's mm. happening in mobile phones, mm. there's so many different ways that an artist who is making great music mm. can get their music heard and can okay. get their music celebrated. Well, if you want more of this, you certainly want to be <laughs> at the music seminar today. But let me come to you, Sheila O, oh, host of Afro Zones. Yes. You're taking Afrobeat and you're making the waves in America and all over the world. But why was it important for you to, you know, celebrate VGMA or music seminar globally? Why not? It had to happen. Why not? First of all, Afro, Afro Zones is the very first Afro beat show on a major FM US dial. Nice. Afro Zones started in Chicago and is syndicated in eight big cities wow. in America and regionally on Sirius XM. So we are out there bridging the gap, making sure the music is played, making sure the artists get royalty okay. and they get exposure. Mm. We're also behind a lot of collaborations okay. with the artists, getting them to do songs with US acts and UK acts and of course putting the music out there. Mm. And of course the VGMA I like to call it, Teresa, hope you don't mind, I like to call it the Grammys of okay. West Africa. Mm. That's how huge that yes. event is. So to right. partner with the VGMAs to make sure that we keep bridging the gap mm. was a must for us. Great. We had to do it. And so are we looking forward to more synergies between, I mean, foreigners or people in the international space with Ghanaians? Because oh, yes. clearly at the end of it, we must benefit at some point. Oh, we have to benefit. Mm. Right now we are benefiting. Okay. Right now you can't go to any club in the U.S. You don't hear Afro beats. Right. It's all about uh, the Stone Boys, the Shatter mm. Wallace, the Sakodis, the... <laughs> Uh, uh, the, there's so many, you mm -hmm. know who they are. Yeah. So we are out there pushing it and making sure that the music lives on. Okay. We don't want to have a short stint like reggae, mm -hmm. I mean, or dance hall. Right. We want to make sure Afro beat, you know, carries I'll on because it's Afro Caribbean, mm -hmm. Afro trap, Afro hip hop, Afro the fusion. So that's what Afrobeat says. Well, uh, I already feel on. the synergy, so yes. I certainly hope we get more of that. But Theresa, do we have more events coming up like this? Yes, um, definitely it's about time we began to have big conversations mm. around um, 
the business of, right. of the industry. Right. And so for us, this is, um, this is something we've always done every year. Mm. And we took it a notch higher this year by bringing okay. in um, international um, experts um, like Sheila <laughs> and Kanya in the industry okay. who can help um, provide platforms because right. we are now looking at platforms mm. that can push our music out there. Mm. So we, we, the, um, the trends have changed and the way music is marketed now, as Kanya mentioned, mm. has changed. Totally. So we need to forge strong partnerships mm. that can open up opportunities for our musicians okay. so they see themselves as not just Ghanaian musicians right. but world global. artists, global artists. Right. So this um, attention that the, the VGMA attracts mm. is the right platform to be able to push um, have those serious conversations. Right. So it is something that we have actually partnered also with the Ghana um, Tourism Authority okay. and mm -hmm. Ghana um, Tourism Del Development Company mm -hmm. to also support. So they're nice. actually partnering us on this seminar. Great. So we can um, just leverage on the, the, the relationships we're building okay. to push our music out there. And it's something that we are planning to do every year at a larger scale. Nice. And I know there'll be another one done later in the year that okay. would have um, um, Reggie and Bolly okay. and Simon Cowell, etc., all coming in Simon to, and Ghana, yeah, fun. to to do um, a, 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 a conference okay. such as this as well, okay. just to educate musicians on what hmm. you can do and what how to take advantage of the market. So are. there's everything more of such coming along. So it's not just about the fun and the, <laughs> the, you know, the, the glamour, the glamour, the red carpets and the best stuff. <laughs> the business that, as well. That is the show. Mm. Yeah, but the, the business, business has to be needs, talked needs about. To be taken care of. Nice. So how do we participate in this music seminar that's, that's ongoing today or starting today? I, I I think right now you probably will be able to participate online. Okay. Um, so just watch out. Go to the Ghana Music Awards pages for the um, on social media for this live streaming okay. because the registration is closed. Is okay. So you cannot really show up there mm. now. But at least you can watch. You can join us on social media. Okay. And um, I must say another important topic we're discussing mm. today is um, wealth management okay. you know because Very that's another problem important. we have when the musicians are making all the money now they what, do they do? what do they do with the money right, yeah. and so you have so many issues of old musicians who are poor <laughs> and sick and dying and right. and then if they i mean so what happened to all the money they mm, made yeah. in their mm, days okay. so the thing that's a very important information um, oh. conversation to have right now as well so that's um, and we are having that conversation in partnership with standard charter nice. as well so they are coming to have a wealth management conversation Great. with the artists as well of course but once we you are here i have to take the opportunity and talk about vgma itself what's the excitement level like what are we anticipating what are we expecting wow i mean that's <laughs> that's mega <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's so it's so <laughs> it's, so, it's so huge. As mm. you know, the, the VGM service is 20th anniversary mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. And um, we've grown this event mm. from a small event mm. to a huge African event. Right. It's no longer just a Ghanaian mm. event or mm -hmm. it was an African event. It's actually an African event. Right. And um, it's just um, very exciting mm -hmm. because the production levels are very high. I mean, okay. that, I mean it's, it's comparable to mm. any such event held around the world, mm -hmm. of course, based on the kind of budgets that we have. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the same budgets, but we do our best mm. to really put on a good show. Right. And it's the platform that every musician knows that they want to shine mm. and be at, at their best on that night. So um, we can imagine the kind mm. of performances that mm. are coming out tonight. Um, the VGM is only night that you see different acts, you mm -hmm. see the artists you know, in different ways than you've ever seen right. them. And I tell you that they, they prep for it. They're fired and of up. Course, they're fired <laughs> up. And of course, I mean, I mean, there's no event like that without the red carpet. No, of clouds. course. I mean, the clothes of have course. been made. Yep. They have been sitting <laughs> on rags. The makeup artists <laughs> have been booked. Yep. You know, the yeah. salons are packed. The show is ready. The show is ready to roll. <laughs> yeah. And the, good, the, the big news this mm. year is that we took a bold step in decided to change the venue hmm. because we really had value limitations okay. the, the show had grown so much people hmm. were coming in from all over the wow. world to be part of this event and we had very and we had space limitations okay. with the venue that we run the event so this year we decided that being the 20th anniversary we had to invest in getting a new venue done okay. and so you'll all be surprised it will be the, the first of its kind when we get to the conference center um, on saturday you will be amazed certainly at, at the new home of the VGMA. Nice, yeah. and kudos to you on your celebrations of your 20th anniversary. VGMA has indeed come a long way. We are proud of you. We celebrate you, and thank you to you, Sheila and Kenya, for joining us and making sure that right. the future of the huge mm. thank you to Tip you three. because yeah. I know, having put it on a global international mm. platform, I know how, how important it is mm -hmm. to get a rec the recognition for these particular type of awards. Mm -hmm. It's a validation to the talent that what they're doing is working. Right. So yes, well done. Kudos, kudos, kudos. <laughs> <laughs> well kudos. done, and that's coming from you, Sheila. All she's 
our host of Afro Zones. I've also got Kanya King in studio. She's mobile found, mobile founder, sorry, and Theresa Ayode. She's CEO for Chatterhouse and the VGMA. And of course, we've been discussing all this. I'm sure you are whipped up. You are enthused. Saturday today is a music seminar, but it's closed. You can watch online, but certainly pick a cue from that because I think, like she said, when it comes to wealth, we need to make sure that our musicians are keeping their wealth because we don't want all of them getting sick and dying off before the next generation comes. So make sure you encourage all of them to actively participate. And of course, VGMA's red carpet, everything right here, TV3 will give you the best. Make sure you're still tuned in. Because